action. A lot of times, too, it be lame niggas that get they self in this situation. And, and women, y'all be a part of it. Y'all get these lame niggas thinking that they something that they not. Because a lot of these cats, too, a lot of these artists, they just like that because they got some quote unquote money. That don't change the lameness. And you can't, you can't, you cannot unlame a lame. The money won't change the lame in you. You know what I'm saying? You either got it or you we're, don't. We're having this conversation. So with uh, all the dating sites, they say that the women choose like 20% of the men on the dating sites. We're talking to like 20% of men. 80% of men are sitting there wondering, how can I get one broad? Yeah, see that, you know what? You just, you just put me onto some game. I forgot. We ain't got to worry about the 20%. Like y'all, some, some some of this education y'all need, cause y'all just need to stop being Jodies. You know what I'm saying? If y'all know what, I'm, what I mean. But the eighty percent of motherfuckers that can't get no pussy, and that you just lame, you need to get some education, man. You need to con go on ahead and tune on in. For the for the whole history of the world, the average girl, uh, we'll call her Stacy. She went and got with the average guy who worked at the at the plant. His name was Herman. You gave them a telephone, and now every average broad has access to the nigga that she wants to smash. And he's like, eh, it's a Tuesday. It's 2 a.m. Why not? Ah, uh, it's a Wednesday. It's 3 a.m. Why not? And so all these average women are seeking the same six-foot-tall, six-figure, six-inch dick nigga, and they all getting piped down, thinking that, thinking that the girlfriend or the side chick, they don't even care. Because a woman would rather be with a strong man than a weak man. Are they wrong for that? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they wrong for that. No. Like, like I think, look, at the end, we learned this in science class. It's it's the survival of the fittest. You know, like, whoever can will and whoever can't won't. And that's just really how it goes at the end of the day. Um, That's not even like a, hey, I'm 5'8". I'm 5'8", 215. You know what I'm saying? Um, Never had a problem having women. Like, I, I could say in over 20 years... It, Every, every every year up until my wife, who I'm with now, who I love, and that's the first time I've been monogamous. But like before then, I always had a two three girl rotation, um, because it's in me. Like the way I the way I carry myself, the way the way I am as a man, the way I was raised as a man. The only time I ever had any problems with a woman is when I tried to be monogamous. As long, really? as long as long as wow. I was doing my thing, <laughs> she knew what her place was. Hey. And then when I stopped doing my thing, she was like, oh, he took a step back. He heard my thoughts and feelings. I have some power. My wife now is just <laughs> amazingly special because I never thought it was even reasonable for me to be monogamous. She just a gift from God. Because other than that, for me personally, I was just like, I'll spend the rest of my life with multiples of these bitches. Like, it just, it, that's just how I was thinking. But I say that to say this, like, a lot of this shit that men be complaining about online, I ain't experienced it. I just never had issues with women, even black women. I get on y'all ass, but black women have been awesome to me. I've never had, like, black women, whether it's been in my career, whether it's really even in relationship, you know, it, it black women have not done me wrong at all. Um, And so, a lot of the things that I hear these guys complaining about and be that they're angry with women about, I just haven't experienced it. It's about your batting average, man. You, like you can only be as good as how much you practice. If you ain't getting no stroke, no, no swings in, then your game is all thrown off. And I understand that. A lot of men, they they're gonna be virgins till they thirty. Like that's hard right now out here. Okay, why aren't? Why do you feel like men aren't getting the the JJ? Because women have other options. It takes a man time to have any type of status. And so, like, I played sports in high school. And when I played sports in high school, that gave me status, okay? And so since I had status in high school, then I, had, I got my pick of women. I had my opportunity to learn how to maneuver around women. And so it doesn't matter now. When you put me in a room with some women, I got the energy to know how to maneuver around women. It's just knowing how to play the game. And a lot of men never, ever get into the game to know how to maneuver. I think that, too. I think a lot of men are scared to talk to women, too. You know, you can talk to women, too. You can get out there. Hey, look, dog, when the alley cat was popping, I go into the alley cat and just buy drinks. If I show you, if I show you my boot camp <laughs> picture, I can show you my boot camp picture right now. It's me and five women in front of me. OK, when we had as soon as we graduated, unfortunately, I was grad and go. So I only had three days. All five grad women, and go. all five women were sitting in their dorm scheduling 
I'm going to have the first date. I'm going to have the second date. I'm going to have them on Saturday. I'm going to have them on Sunday before he goes. But that's because you know how to talk to women. You know how to make, you know how to, you know how you're approachable and you approach them. You initiated some contact conversation, probably understand body language, what it means when they like you. Like these are things that I feel like in the internet dating world are hurting men because they just don't understand these little cues with women. And guess what? Knowing when she wants to move further and when she doesn't want to move further. You don't have to be, you don't have to pressure no woman into anything. I will never disrespect no woman because as soon as she b breaks my boundaries, as soon as she disrespects me, even the slightest bit, it was a pleasure to meet you. That's a fact. Man, we're going to have to start giving dating tips. We're going to we're gonna, <laughs> hey, for real, we're gonna have to school. Because that, that's a crazy stat. That means 80%. It's 80% of y'all. You said 60% of men from 18 to one? To 18 what? to 32 is single. It's single. Every man under 30 right now, they're either virgins or they haven't had sex in the last year. Oh, hell no. Nah. Bro. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. <laughs> I know that the... That's why OnlyFans is so crazy. When oh, I, shit. When you're on Facebook, uh, the shorts, or you're on uh, YouTube shorts, when you see an average-ass looking woman and her little, all she does is turn around and, like, drop her booty and she get a million views. I'm like, how the hell does she get a million views? Because there's 10 million men who haven't touched a piece of booty in more than a year. They excited. Like, oh, my God, a real girl. How y'all doing this, man? Like, how y'all even, how are y'all even making it without, hey, it's only so much beating your meat you can do. Man, hey, hey the, the corn industry is booming, okay? Yeah, well, well, that industry, well, we're talking multi-billions of dollars It's anyway. the best corn the world has ever seen, and it's all free. Xvideos.com, uh, baby. Oh, man, Xvideos. What else you got? <laughs> uh, the, the hub is cool, but it be putting viruses on your phone. Uh, what, what, is it Xvideo? What, what's the other one? Uh, X Hamster. You know, uh, it's, it's just to nice understand one. that, so if you have a PlayStation, men are using, they are just in a place of vanity right now. They're in, in bliss right now. They ain't got to deal with no headache. They ain't got to pay for, paying for dates is crazy. If you don't have no game, no charisma, trying to go out every Saturday is expensive. Um, It can be. It can be. But you know what? Women will sometimes, hey, women will pay for dates. Women can and will pay for dates if they like you enough. For the Women, top 20%. <laughs> you know, and... the only other way to defeat that stat is proximity. That's the only other way. If you ain't getting no women, go work at McDonald's. I guarantee you work at McDonald's for six months, you'll get a piece of cat. Damn. <laughs> it's proximity, bro. If you don't want to work at McDonald's, go work at a uh, Home Depot. If you work at Home Depot next to the beautiful girl, you're going to hear her stories. And she done got smashed and dashed on by so many handsome men that, oh, my goodness, Johnny, you've always been nice to me. You're going to get some sympathy, some sympathy cat. I mean, I think you got to go out, though. <laughs> I, I think men need to go out. Go out. Go out to a bar, you know. And listen, uh, buy drinks with the intention of conversing. Not buy, Don't buy drinks with the intentions of having sex but buy drinks with the intentions of conversing. You see, and then she has to make the eye contact first. You you can't just go after something. This is another thing I think a lot of you brothers fall victim at. She could be fine as hell over here, but if she ain't looking at you, she not giving you no real time of the day, she ain't giving you no temperature, that don't matter. This woman over here, uh, she's not as fine as her, but she's decent. She gave you some attention. That's who you kind of go over and you make that potential conversation when I'm you a get walk. a drink and you give it to her. I would never buy a drink. I'm going to walk in the room and I'm going to like prowl the room and I'll never look at a woman. I'm going to go talk to the bartender. I'm going to say what's up to my niggas. We're going to get a pool table. <laughs> We're going to dominate. And she's going to be sitting there like, why he ain't say hi to me? And just because I just came and dominated the whole space and made that whole bitch mine, then she's going to gravitate towards me. So here, here's the idea with buying drinks. It, so, so here's my concept behind it. In sales, in sales, we give things away. I'm with you. There's a reason why we give things away because what it does is you're building rapport. So when I buy you a drink, it, it's doing a, a couple of things. One, it's softening up the potential for us to have a conversation. Of course, as you get more drinks in you, you're going to talk more. And then this is just opening up. This is the introduction to us. That, that That's what I use drinks the for. The counterpoint well, to that to is use drinks for. every average broad is having men buy her drinks. And so when I don't buy you no drink, you're wondering why you ain't buy me no drink. It's reverse psychology. I'm fucking her head. I don't look at you. I don't buy you no drink. 
I don't give you no attention. I might go and laugh with the ugliest bitch at the bar <laughs> and have the ugliest bitch at the bar buy me a drink. And then you over there scratching your head like she just bought him a drink and he's not talking to me. What does she have that I don't have? I mean, I'm making these a, bitches feel insecure. That's a strategy. That's definitely a strategy. But but it's it's still going to work the same if I buy a drink and we get to talking. Other women are going to see this because women beget women. The, you most, know the most powerful bond that you can ever have with a female person is when she instigates the, uh, the interaction. If she, in, if, she cre- if she creates the connection, if she pursues you, you can never lose because a woman never wants to be wrong and she chose you. That's true. That's definitely true. But we giving these simps this 80% that don't get no, no nothing. We're just giving you the base, like the baseline of what you can do to initiate some kind of contact and move from there because, hey, everybody doesn't, hey, look, <laughs> I didn't been I didn't been in the spot before, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and I've walked past a chick and she'll say something like, "Damn, I like your beard." Or, you know, she chose you. Or your lips. She chose you. What I'm saying is, not every man is going to have an attribute or some attributes that makes a woman want to come talk to them. Some men got to allow their, their conversation more. And I think that's what's wrong with like the manosphere and the red pill. If you want to have a conversation with a woman, you go up to her and you find her idiosyncrasy immediately. Ask her, hey, did you always have that mole? Mm. Is, is that a freckle or a pimple? Mm. She gonna look at you like, what? <laughs> mm. What? Yeah. Because everyone else is saying, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're so fine. So you're saying it's the detail. Pay attention to the detail. Man, you, you got to make her know that her, that her shit stank immediately. Have you always had that gap? What? What? <laughs> what? Huh? If you're not the right type nigga, though, that's not going to work. You're going to get fought on. If you're not, if you're not delivering shit smooth enough, you're going to get fought on. You, and you got to be smooth, too, man. You got to know how to deliver things. You got to, like, when you talk about sales, you can't be afraid of rejection. You got to shoot. True. And every time you shoot, learn. If the tactic didn't work the first time, make sure it works on the 22nd time. But you got to shoot 22 times, though. That's true. And then, then after you shoot 22 times, all of a sudden, man, hey, you wasn't, what did Drake say? You wasn't with him shooting in the gym? <laughs> I think that's the issue, though, with... Kobe put up a, a thousand jumpers a day. This internet world that we live in is that it's going to it's, it's going to pollute how we date. It's going to pollute that, how men and women interact with each other, for sure. I mean, you won't get these real interactions like this. You'll have some fear and anxiety I'm about people get, I'm about to give you a superpower. Other. What's up? How to win friends and influence people. Dale Carnegie. Oh, uh, I need to read that book myself. It's a, I've heard it's, that a book. it's a superpower. You know, the uh, the most the most special word in the whole language of any language is a person's name, huh? Get a person's name. This, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you game, okay? Like if you work in a place in, clo- in close proximity with a woman, I'll tell you what you do. Just say hi to her. If she speaks back, don't say nothing else to her. Go on about your business. The next day, hey, what's up? And over time. The conversation progresses. Familiarity gives you access. Proximity gives you the ability to be familiar. Familiarity gives you access. Mm. Bro, this is it's just that yeah. tactic is going to be called erosion. Okay, <laughs> it's, a, it's a steady trickle to right. beat down the wall. Right, right. The greatest American alive. 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 